All right, so I keep getting this question quite often, so I want to make a dedicated video about it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Quantower to be able to trade multiple prop firms, multiple rhythmic logins in the same platform. Let's dive right into it. So if you're familiar with trading futures, you know that the primary software that they offer is NinjaTrader, right? So with NinjaTrader, it actually allows multiple logins or multiple connections at once, but they cannot be all rhythmic logins. They only allow one rhythmic login at a time. So if you want to trade multiple prop firms, you have to log out out of one and then log into the second one. All right. So Ninja Trader 8 is a great platform overall, but this is its only limitation in my opinion. But if you only trade one firm or you are okay with logging in and logging out and trade different firms at different times, then you are totally fine. Uh, the only thing is if you want to copy trade on Ninja Trader, you will have to get Replicanto or Apex uh, Copy Trader, which is roughly around $120 for a lifetime fee, which is not bad. And I'll have the link down below if you're interested in that. But let's talk about Quantower. So Quantower is a great trading platform and it's actually very similar to Ninja Trader. It has a lot of the same features. It looks uh, very close to be almost the same. Not exact. It has its differences, but it's very user friendly. It's very easy to use and looks really, really cool and modern. So I like it versus like Sierra chart and stuff. It's very like old school. But the great thing about the new Quant Tower is that it has a free copy trader built in, so you don't have to pay for that. And it also allows multiple logins with the paid license. So Quant Tower is actually a uh, free platform, but I'll talk about the uh, paid license a little bit later. And you could do it monthly, biannually, yearly, lifetime option as well. So we'll talk about the prices a little bit later. It's not that bad at all. But how does it work? So basically, you could add as many connections as you need. So most of the prop firms will have a rhythmic connection. So you just connect them to your uh, Quant Tower. And then you guys could see right here is my connections, the three of them right here. I also have a TikTok account that I haven't linked here yet, but I could do it. And then you just log into all of them at once and add as many as you need. And then uh, once you are logged in, uh, you will be pretty much good to go. Then you will create a copy trader or a bot to copy trade whatever accounts you want to copy trade. So the whole purpose of this is to copy trade between multiple firms. So you could see right here, I have my Bullnox connection and I have one Bullnox account because Bullnox only allows one account to be activated at a time until you make the safety net and then you could activate the second account. So I already passed another evaluation a while ago with uh, Bullnox, but I actually cannot activate it till uh, I meet a profit goal first. So I'm using the one Bullnox account that I have to control the four uh, Apex accounts that I am also trading with. So these are all funded accounts and basically my Bullnox is controlling the rest of the Apex accounts. And uh, you can make multiple bots, right? So uh, the copy bot name, so you, it says new bot. I never changed the name, but that's what it's here. Uh, the parent connection, you actually do have to change the name. So you right click on the rhythmic underneath the rhythmic, you right click and then you would change it to whatever, you know, you, whatever you want. I named them the, after the actual prop firms. So Apex, Bullnox, Earn Max, and so on. And then you just select whatever accounts you want. The copy trader is quite simple. It doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles of Repiconto, but you could basically do um, you know, one-to-one -one copying, or you could do the multiplier, which would cop, you know, let's say you're doing an evaluation in the background and you want to take multiple contracts in the background, or let's say one account, you want to trade one contract and the other account, you want to take two contracts because it's a bigger account. You could do that. So it's uh, pretty uh, straightforward there, but I only use one contract at a time. Then let's talk about uh, how do you actually control multiple accounts, right? So it's very hard at first to know if all the accounts are getting into the trades, out of the trades, and not wanting to get caught in anything bad, right? So with Ninja Trader, you could see all your PNL uh, just lined up and you could see all the accounts and it makes it super easy. With Quant Tower, it's a little bit trickier. So you have to open multiple account info windows. And the platform with Quant Tower is actually very easy to use and you could create really cool desktops and layouts with it. So 
it's not a problem. It's just something that you have to do and spend a couple of minutes to kind of get it going. Here I have six accounts, right? So all these uh, windows are linked together. Basically, they're joined together, binded together. They call them binds. And uh, I, you know, I have a drop down menu and then I have six windows. Once I have more accounts, I'll add 10 windows. Well, however many accounts I have, I'll have as many windows here. And this is to monitor all the accounts. So making sure that they get in trades because you guys could see that sometimes if you use market orders or stop limit orders to get into trades, there will be some discrepancy in your fills. And you could see I am up 565 on one account, then 465, 465, 500, 465, 505. All these accounts are actually traded at the same time. So um, it was a lot of trades. I was down quite a lot. Um, I'm not a lot, but you know, I was down 400. I would go back to break even, down 200, up 200. So I did take a lot of trades. So over time, remember that one point is 20 bucks on NASDAQ. So if you have a little bit of slippage on a contract, then um, there'll be discrepancy in the fills. And that's going to happen on all copy traders. So the only way to do it, to not have any slippage, is to use limit order to get in on the downside and a limit order to get out out of your trade. But if you use a market order, if you use a stop market order, so let's say the price is going up and then you make a stop order to get filled into the trade long, um, then you could get filled in different price points because that's a market order technically, right? So uh, it's not an issue. It's just you want to monitor to make sure that you are basically out of all trades. That's the most important thing. The last thing you want to do is be in the trade and not knowing it. So having the windows open, uh, definitely helps with that. And then I'll show you another way of monitoring everything. So this uh, window, working orders and position windows, that's also part of Quant Tower. And here you could see all my working orders. So you could see that I have a lot of orders open. And then this is all my PL from all the six accounts that I was trading. So two are evaluations. And then um, a one is evaluation. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's two evaluations and five PA accounts. I have five PA accounts right now. So everything's in. You could see a slight uh, difference in PL between them. But let's say uh, number one is I could monitor to make sure that I am in all the accounts. And then when I close the trade, I could make sure that all of them closed. And if they didn't, uh, I could close all by hitting this button here, or if I want to close just the positive trades or negative trades, I can. So this allows you to kind of uh, be really fast in case something goes wrong with you know the copy trader or your bracket orders. So using bracket orders is actually tricky with uh, the way copy traders work. So you have to be kind of careful with that. And uh, the main thing is like if you have a bracket order and then you mark it out without the bracket, so you still have the bracket. So the bracket might close on the on the parent account, but then on the um, follower accounts, the bracket order is still there. So the two orders are showing and then you take your eyes off the screen and then eventually you might get filled into the bracket order that was supposed to be uh, to get out of the position, but now it's getting you into a new position because you marketed it out out of the other position. So having these two windows is definitely a lifesaver. And then you just right click and cancel all, or just click one of these, you know, you could cancel all, all your orders or close all your positions that way. So this allows you to have a peace of mind in case something does go wrong. I haven't had any issues yet, uh, but I know if there is an issue, then, um, I'm already familiar with copy trading. Basically, I used Replicanto for a few days. I've used this. I used the uh, Trader Very Copy Trader, so I know how the bracket orders work and and so on. But if you're brand new, then you might come into a couple of issues that you have to just. If they're not issues, it's just you have to understand how it all works. All right. Um. So let's talk about the downside of this all. So the downside of it is that the multi broker part of Quant Tower is not free. So I mentioned that Quant Tower itself is free. But to and the copy trader is free with Quant Tower if you want to trade one firm. But if you want to trade multiple firms, then you will have to subscribe to their um, their paid subscription. So they have what's called a all in one package, which has a lot of different features. But you could also just use the uh, multi broker or multi asset as they call it package. And then you have the prices. So one month is 50 bucks. Three months is 135, six months 240, uh, multi asset for one year is 420, 
and the lifetime is $12.90. I'm going to try to work with them on a coupon code. I have never been able to find anything and I'm going to try to email them and, uh, and ask them for it. But uh, for now, I would just, I'm going to sign up with the one month or maybe three months just to see how I like it over time and go from there. But let's talk about um, why would anyone need this, right? So why would anyone need this to, uh, to even trade? Well, so here's some of my points. And one of them is that a lot of the firms do not allow multiple accounts per user. So for example, TikTok doesn't allow you to have multiple accounts at once, especially the direct account. So if you have a direct account without the evaluation, you can only have one per user and um, you are not able to open multiple ones um, in that same uh, value. You could have a 25K and a 50K, but you cannot trade the same instrument in those accounts either. So this wouldn't even apply to it, right? Because you can't trade NQ on both accounts. You could have two accounts, but you could trade ES and NQ in the same day type of deal. So basically you could only have one account. So let's say you don't like trading one account. You want to be able to trade multiple accounts at once, but you want to have multiple firms at once. Then that's a great option. So Bullnox, like I mentioned, allows you to have multiple accounts but at first you have to make the first account go over the safety net and then you can request to activate the second account once the second account is activated then you could make the money and then activate a third account so it's a lengthy process and i don't want to trade that account by itself because i learned that when i trade one account at a time i'm striving for much bigger gains and that's how you get in trouble you use bigger size and really things go out of hand um, second point is that you could, after a while, you'll have different withdrawal windows. So all these firms have different, uh, processes for payouts, right? Some are bi-monthly, some have a specific time frame where you could request the payout. Some of them like tick, tick after a certain amount of time, there is, you could request whenever you want. Um, bull knocks, it's every 10 days on every Wednesday, you could request a payout. So having different firms over time will allow you to kind of get a payout almost every single week, which is a great option if you want to do it that way. Uh, you could also trade different evaluations in the background without even thinking about it. So you'll see a great deal, right? So a lot of firms have different deals. You might want to take advantage of one. And then instead of rushing the evaluation, because a lot of times when you rush the evaluation, we actually fail. And a lot of us do that. I call it YOTO, the um, the evaluation, because you only trade once. And one trade, you either fail or you pass. A lot of people do that, especially once they're funded with other accounts. Uh, they don't really care too much about the um, evaluation. So having it running in the background as linked to your main account, it will slowly start growing. And over the course of a month, you will, you will pass it and uh, and just go from there. So that's also a great option. And the last thing I would just want to mention, this is more, um, not a rumor because I know it happens, but it's more so like there's no black and white rule on, on this. But once you are very profitable with these firms for a long period of time, they're going to ask you to move to a live account. So you're going to go from the live SIM account to an actual funded account. Then you become a professional trader. You have much higher fees. I don't know if they're going to let you keep 20 accounts, right? So let's say you have Apex and you have 20 accounts. I don't know if they're going to let you open 20 accounts under your own name. I don't know how that works. So having multiple firms and spreading your uh, profits across all these firms will probably prolong the life of you being a live SIM trader instead of going into a live funded account. And um, that's also something that um, I like to consider, but it really goes down to the withdrawal windows and the deals that they have. So Bull Knox has 90% off right now. Uh, Apex doesn't really have much of a sale right now, right? Tick Tick doesn't have a big sale right now. So there is a lot of things that I want to do over time. Uh, I just want to wait for the right moment and the right deals. But the great news is that they do have a free trial. So you can click the link down below if you want to try this. So for seven days, uh, they'll give you the full package. Uh, which I don't use anything besides the um, the multi-asset package. Like I don't use the DOM, but basically you get the DOM. You could get the um, 
the footprint charts and all those different things that come with a paid subscription with Quant Tower. You could get that for seven days for free so you could play with it. And then instead of 50 bucks a month, you would pay $70 a month to get all of those features. Um, just the multi-asset broker uh, part of it is 50 bucks. But just to show you again, the amazing power of you know, copy trading the accounts. I traded five accounts today, five PA accounts, and I made close to 2,500 bucks. Um, and I really only made $500 per account. So I made $500 and then that multiplies times five. That's $2,500 of profit. And, um, and I walked away, you know, so it was definitely a, this is a evaluation. To, so this doesn't count, but, uh, I just counted PA accounts and, um, very close to a withdrawal amount on a PA account with Apex here. And uh, this is the Bullinox one. It's up 50. I mean, it's up $1,500. And yeah, and these are newer ones. So trading them as we go, trying to just make $100, $200, $300 a day and eventually get up to 10 accounts. And uh, it will definitely compound that way. But if you have any questions, uh, you can join my Discord or leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys might have and I'll catch you on the next one.